Hey everyone, today is a Stitch Fix day. Here it is, big brown box. I have already opened the lid because I'm really, really noisy when I do this. Um, I'm hoping there's enough light in here. It's really dull today. So, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. And I'm mumming again, I know, I know. I've got to come up with some way of segueing from one sentence to another with umming all the time. Anyway, here we go. So, as usual, I've got the cards. I'm gonna presume that most of you know how Stitch Fix works. Um, it is a monthly subscription box. You do get um, a mailer to return it back to them. Anything you don't like, you put straight in the box. You get a list of prices, which I'm not gonna look at until I've seen what everything is. And you do get a card with a message from your stylist and some images of how they suggest you style it. But again, I don't really want to read. Oh, uh, I suppose, yeah, hang on. Let's, let's see what I can read of it without giving too much away. Welcome to your third fix. Uh, thank you for all the feedback and request notes you've provided. Have fun trying these out. Best Mel, I'm going to leave the rest of it out because it talks all about the items. I don't want to know too much yet. I want to be surprised. So here we go. My bundle and... A bag. I have a bag! Right, so that's my... Oh, and I like the colours on my bundle. I did ask for more neutral things. Um, I have quite a lot of um, bright, summery things. And I'm struggling for neutrals, and in particular, I'm struggling for trousers. And I think there may be some trousers in here. But first of all, let's do the bag. I can't resist a bag. I am a bag girl. Bags and shoes. Bags and shoes, they don't judge you. They don't care what size you are. They don't care how old you are. They, they just look fab. So, ooh, ooh. See that? Okay, it has a scarf woven into the handle, which I I won't take the plastic off until I'm sure I want it. It's by a company called Inyati. Uh, Inyati. It's vegan, so it's not leather. It's a flap. Oh, it has another strap if you just want, I suppose, if you just want a plain one. Um, it's a zip see this it's a zip pocket bag um, with quite a few compartments in in pale grey I do like the fact that it's a zip and a flap although I'm just discovering that it was quite hard to get my hand in to get hold of that but now I've got hold of it it should be fine well I like that I'm not sure I'm not sure so that's the shoulder bag length uh, it would depend very much on how much it costs, to be fair, but let's see. Okay, going back to the bundle. Oh, dokey, let's see what we've got, or what I've got, I should say. So, first things first is a pair of trousers. Oh, these are nice, these are cotton. You can see those, they're by Editor's Cut, which I know is a Stitch Fix make. What does it say? Gladys cropped wide leg trouser. So cropped, yes, and they are indeed wide leg, which I'm not against. Um, I sometimes find that being slightly wider at the bottom makes sort of balances the rest of me out. So they're great. Those go. Then I've got a pair of what looks like, oh, these are nice, by Mint Velvet. Pair of cream very soft pockets on the back pockets on the front i quite like this detail on the front pocket with the button um, whoops a daisy nearly dropped everything turn ups on the end again very nice i'm, I'm quite excited to try this i don't know that i've ever tried mint velvet so i've got no idea how their sizing works and whether they'll be kind to me or not oh now i've got a pullover I've been getting so many pullovers and you know I'm here in the UK we don't have the greatest summers as I'm sure you know um, either you're living here experiencing it or you've read about it oh dear I'm all ruffled um, 
but you know what summers we do get we like to embrace them so i don't know why i'm getting so many pullovers but i do like it it's a great color it's ribbed oh it's got really pretty detailing down the edge of the sleeve not sure if you'll be able to see that um sort of a, a v-neck with a scalloping 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 detail i like it and it's lovely and soft so and it is lightweight so to be fair to her she's not you know not making a mistake and last but not least is a warehouse black tea looks like it might be slightly no no it's just boxy i thought for an awful minute it was going to be cropped which would not work for me it's called the cutwork puff sleeve t-shirt you see that i don't know if you can will it focus and show you the very pretty i like that cover i'm not again not much of a one for um decoration around here but that's the joy of this box you try things that you'd normally walk past in the store and go mm -hmm. So, let's get to the try-on. Okay, so here we go. I have the first two pieces on, and I have a horrible feeling I might be in trouble with this box. I um, love the trousers. Let's start with the trousers. The fit is fabulous. I actually have a bit of room in them, which is great. So the sizing on these is, I mean, it's bang on for me. Um, I like the looseness, love the pockets. I'd already said that I liked this, oh, I think my camera went blurry, that I liked this detail of the, the, the pockets with the, they're slightly, is it pleated? No, it's not pleated, it is flat front, but it's gently flat fronted. Oh, my camera is having a fit. I think it's because it can't see my head. <laughs> um, the t-shirt fits like a glove. It is a great length. Not too long, not too short. I feel like it works really well with this. Like the puff sleeve, not too puffy, not these big, huge, which tiny, skinny little girls can wear, but I can't. Um, I even like the embroidery. What on earth is wrong with me? I love them. I don't know if you can see, they are slightly cropped and rolled up. Um, what can I say? I think I might be in big but I really like them, yeah! Okay guys, I really am in trouble. I love this sweater. It's just the right amount of V. Um, it's so soft. Oh, it's so soft guys. The arms, you can actually see that detailing better now. Um, I'll show you the back. Oh, it's never quite so kind to me the back. I've got this, but I sort of live with it. Um, the trousers are oh, comfortable. I mean, so comfortable. They're cotton-esque. I don't know what the fabric is. I'll have to look, actually. The only thing I do wonder about is, are they pleating a little bit on, on the bottom here? But I, I don't feel like they're bad. And I really do like them. Oh, and last but not least, of course, the bag. I still haven't taken the plastic off because I'm really not sure. It feels wrong. I, I don't know how, how I can put that. I really like the idea of the, of the scarf and, and so on. But I mean, I wouldn't use it as a shoulder bag. So then that strap becomes pointless. So then I'm left looking at, you know, what would be a crossbody. And it just has a bit of a bit of a bulky bit of a yeah it's not really doesn't have any rivets in the bottom um i don't know i don't think so but the rest of the stuff she has knocked it out of the park and i only hope that you agree i think she's done a fabulous job but let's go to recap okay so recap this is where i find out the price is and um, it tells me what I can afford to keep and what I can't afford to keep. But I'm just amazed. What was my stylist's name again? Mel. Fabulous job, Mel. You, absolutely fabulous job. Okay, so where will we start? We'll start with a mint velvet cotton button chino. Colour beige. Size 16. Oh, this 69 pounds. 
Is that a bit much? I don't know. I really like them, though. I mean, I really, really like them. Um, I think they're going to have to be a yes, but £69 for chinos. Oh! But I do really, really like them. So I think I might be about to treat myself. Okay, next up is the Cutwork Tea. This is the Warehouse Black T-shirt. Again, in a size 16, and it's £25. Now, I really like this. It surprised me how much I liked it, but I do have a lot of black tops at the moment. So this is a, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. I really do like it. I thought the fit was great. The length was great. That one's difficult for me. Next up, uh, did I say it was £25? I think I did. Um, next up is the V-neck jumper, which I really didn't think I'd like between you and me. I thought the colour was fabulous, but the fact that it's a jumper, I was like, mm -hmm. but it's thin enough that I could wear this in the winter because I run hot. Like a lot of women, menopause or post-menopause, well, I run hot, so I'm always wary. This was by Morvette. It's called the Ivy Pointel V-neck jumper. They've called it off-white. I would call that camel or cream myself. It is a 16 and it's £39. Well, I think that is money well spent, I have to say. Um, I could just see myself wearing that over and over again, so I think that's going to stay. Then the Gladys cropped wide leg trouser in camel they're by editor's cut again a size 16 and they're 45 pounds now i do like them not as much as the other ones but i really do like them and i can see myself getting quite a lot of wear out of them so mm, they're gonna be a maybe while i have a little think and a little look at my budget and a little look in my wardrobe to see what would go with them but with them being this great sort of neutral color there is so much that would go with them. <laughs> so I have two maybes and two definite yeses. And then the handbag, which I've left over there, sorry. Um, it's by Inyati. It's called the Page Scarf Detail Bag. Oh, and it's £81. That really is not something I would spend my money on. I certainly wouldn't pay £81 for it. And I was, you know, I was doubtful when I was thinking it was about £45. Unfortunately, that means that I can't get the buy all discount of 20%. So, mm, if I kept the whole box, it'd be £197, which is great. But uh, do I want the bag that much? I'm going to have to add up the individual things that I do want. But then the discount is £51 and the handbag is £81. So I'd be paying another £30 if I kept the four. I just wish they did a discount where if you kept three or kept four rather than having to keep the whole lot because I mean it's a four out of five which is brilliant but I really don't want to pay 81 pounds for that handbag I didn't like it when I thought it was a lot less anyway that's it for today that's my stitch fix and I'm really pleased really really pleased with everything that came I think she's doing a fabulous job so if you like me or my, my channel please come back please subscribe please press the bell and ring the thing and all of that thumbs up all that kind of things um and i will keep plodding away and i will be here again to talk to you my friends as soon as i can really <laughs> okay bye